praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, come on, come on, give him praise in here. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and I'm going to be glad in it. Come on and put your hands together. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice and be glad in it. Come to 
So, oh God, that you give it to deliver it in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, let her deliver it in the way you would have it to go to your people, God. Now, Lord, bless the reading. Hallelujah, that comes forth. Bless the musicians, God, in the name of Jesus. Bless the choir, God, in the name of Jesus. Yet, yet let your Shekinah glory be upon us all, God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless our pastor, God. Strengthen his body, God. Encourage his heart, God. Bless our first lady, oh God. In the name of Jesus, God, it will be so gracious to give your name the praise and the glory. It shall be done. Everybody just say, it shall be done. It shall be done. In Jesus' name. Praise him in the firmament of his power. 
Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sounds of the trumpet. Praise him with the psaltery and the harp. Praise him with the timbrel and the dance. Praise him with the string instruments and organs. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Praise him upon the high sounding cymbals. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness. I know it's Wednesday. I know it's the middle of the week. But oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Glory to God. Bless the name of Jesus. Good evening and welcome to the Showers of Blessings 2024 Women's Department Revival. Our theme for this revival is the Master Calleth, Come and Dine. The theme is derived from the passage of scripture found in Isaiah 55 and 1. If you will be dining with us on this evening for the very first time, would you please stand so we can see who you are? All first time diners, first time visitors. Amen. God bless you. Welcome. Amen. God bless you. God bless you and welcome. Amen. God bless you and welcome. On behalf of our pastor, Dr. Thomas, our first lady missionary, Phyllis Thomas, the honorary first lady missionary, Deborah Newsom, and the entire Showers of Blessings Church, we thank you for joining us on this morning. Amen. We know that you could have gone any place else, but you decided to come on over here where the table is spread and the feast of the Lord is going on. Amen. Our revivalist tonight is no stranger to our church family. She is a Holy Ghost filled dynamic speaker who resides right here in the city of Sacramento. She is none other than district missionary Levita Jones. Come on and help me worship God for our revivalist on tonight. The King has prepared a feast just for you. And each night we will need to come expecting to receive the bread of life. We're asking that God break that bread up into several different bite-sized pieces so that each one of us leaves here full and ready to give God exactly what he requires of us. Amen. God bless you. Take your seats and enjoy the celebration. Come on, put your hands together one more time. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I don't know what you came in here to do, but I came to praise the Lord. Oh, come on. Look at your neighbor real good. Say, I don't know what you came to do, but I came to praise the Lord. Come on and put your hands together all over the building. Come on. I don't know what you come to do. Say, I don't know what you come to do. I don't know what you come to do. I come to clap my hands. Come on, let me see you clap. I come to stomp my feet. Come on, let me see you put them together. Come on, pat them, pat them, pat them. I come to praise the Lord. Come on and make some noise in here. Come to pray. 
together. Come on and help me praise him. Put your hands together. Come on and help me praise him. Put your hands together. Come on and help me praise him. If you got hands to clap. Come on and help me praise him. If you got feet to pass. Come on and help me praise him. If you got eyes to see. Come on and help me praise him. If you got legs to walk. Come on and help me praise him. If you got a mouth to talk. Come on and help me praise him. Come on and help me praise him. Come on and help me praise him. Anybody want to 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 help me praise him. to praise him. Anybody want to praise him? Come on and help me praise him. Anybody want to help me praise him? 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 Come on and help me praise him. Come on and help me praise him. Let everything that happens 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 let everything that has breath praise him. Let everything that has breath praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Come on in. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Somebody ought to help me praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Say praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Come on. Praise him! 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 Praise him!
to our spring revival. The master calleth come and dine. Anybody ready to dine with the master? He's got the best table in the house and we've come to praise the Lord. At this present time, it's my time and it's your time to be blessed. It's offering time. We know that this Wednesday is our regular service, right? So we're still going to give like we do on our regular service. Amen. Amen. So if you need an offering envelope, please raise your hand. If you do not carry cash and you want to um, swipe your card, please um, see our finance department to my right and your left. And you may come and swipe your card. Be a part in our giving. Is that all right? Amen. Amen. Don't get quiet on me. Amen. We've come to praise and magnify the name of the Lord. I don't know about you, but I'm looking forward to what God has. I can't say for you, because I don't know what you need. But I'm looking forward to what God has for me. It is important that we do an individual check. Amen. Amen. So we want you to dig deep, give as the Lord has blessed you to give. And I guarantee you, he will bless you real good. Everyone standing at this time. Hallelujah. Anybody feel the presence of the Lord? Well, amen. We had, we had a Holy Ghost fit up in here this morning at 6 a.m. prayer. Lord Jesus. So if you're feeling a little warm and you're feeling a little, you know, power and anointing, it's because we got all around in this church. Hallelujah. And let the Lord have his way. Amen. Lifting your offering to the Lord. Gracious Heavenly Father, Lord, we're so grateful and we're so thankful. Thankful for being in the house of the Lord one more time. God, it is because of your grace and mercy that we stand here, oh God. Now, God, we are, we are giving into good ground. And God, we ask you to multiply the seed. Bless those that may not have to give. Bless them that they may have a seed to plant on the next time. God, we ask you to bless each giver in an abundant way, like only you can. Return not only 30, 60, and 100 fold, but Lord, you know I say all the time, you can return a billion fold because you own the world and they that dwell in it. So God, do it according to your divine will. And God will be so careful to give your name the praise, the honor, and the glory is all thine. And as Missionary McAllister oftentimes says, we shall be again. God bless you. Please follow the direction of the ushers. 
And remember, we're still in worship. going to introduce our speaker, missionary, district missionary, Levita Esther Jones, the youngest of four siblings, was born in Herlong, California. She had a relationship with the Lord at the tender age of five and being filled with the Holy Spirit by the age of seven. She was born and raised in the church, and she is very glad for her Pentecostal roots being very active in the church and wearing many hats. In 2007, District Missionary Jones was instructed by the Lord to join the St. Timothy Church of God in Christ in Sacramento, California under, under her father, Superintendent Mason Jones, where she is the president of the Evangelist and Mission and Women's Department. She also enjoys working in district and jurisdiction in the district and jurisdiction as district missionary and chair lady of the evangelist department. She earned a bachelor's degree in health administration and is currently employed at the University of uh, California, San Francisco. That's right, right? CSF, all right. As a manager in medical group business services of the government unit. Well, amen. One of her greatest joys is being the mother to one married daughter. There she is, Iveta, and her son in love, Joseph, and the granny, she's a granny, of Judah Joseph Jackson, 11 years old, and Ezra Ezekiel Jackson, eight years old, and over 25 teenage children foster caregiver give her Woo! Lord Jesus well amen in 2015 district missionary Jones suffered an illness that nearly took her life while yet under medical care she heard the Lord say carry on with the work that I have anointed your hands to do she has been a gospel radio station talk show host and I've been on it of nothing but the truth on two stations on the Pacific Coast and the East Coast of the United States, proclaiming the truth based on the Word of God for nearly 10 years. District Missionary Joan loves the Lord with all her heart and is determined to, be, to please Him in all areas of her life. She wants to continue to do His work and share the gospel to a dying world. After our sermonic solo by our own Sister Marie Turner, we would like for you, as she finishes her solo, to stand and welcome District Missionary LaVita 
Esther Jones. God bless you. Man, we're invited this week to come and dine, to feast at the Savior's table, to commune with him and to get what we need from him. And so we're here just to sing this simple song. It says, come and dine, the master calleth, come and dine. You can feast from Jesus' table all the time. He who fed the multitude, who turned the water into wine. To the hungry, call if now, come and dine. Dine, the master calleth, come and dine. You can feast from Jesus' table all the time. He who fed the multitude, who turned the water into wine. To the hungry, call us now, come and dine. You may say, well, what's at the table? <laughs> there's love, there's joy, there's peace. Everything you need is at the table. <laughs> Jesus says, come and dine. The master calleth. Come and dine. You can feast from Jesus' table all the time. He who fed the multitude, who turned the water into wine. Satisfies joy, he'll supply all my life. It would be worthless without him. All things in Jesus. Lord, you satisfy joy, he'll supply all my life. It would be worthless without him. Oh, things in Jesus. The longing soul. Oh, all things in you, Jesus. I, I find.
all things in Jesus I find. Father God, we give you glory and we give you praise. We thank you for revival. God, reign on our souls, we pray. In the name of Jesus, have your way in this place. Have your way in this place. Have your way in this place. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, a word from on high. Bread of heaven, feed me till I want no more. In the name of Jesus. And as for me, let utterance be given unto me. That I may open my mouth boldly. And make known the mysteries of the gospel in Jesus name amen if you can remain standing as I read the scripture hallelujah Isaiah 55 and 1 says ho everyone that thirst come ye to the water and he that has no money come ye buy and eat yea come by wine and milk without money and without price hallelujah and the message for this week is the master calleth come and dine and I want you to repeat after me the Lord has given me a subtopic and is time and preparation can you say that with me time and preparation uh, you may have your seats I solicit your prayers I've been under attack all day but I believe God is gonna make it all right oh yeah I believe he's gonna make it all right hallelujah first give an honor to God hallelujah and the angel of the house Dr. Darnell Thomas. I thank God for him. I thank God for him and all the elders and ministers that I don't even know your name, the people of God. We thank God for the first lady. Hallelujah. A powerful woman of God. Hallelujah. I wanted to say a little something about each of them before I start my message, which may be short and sweet. But God has given me a word. Hallelujah. Wanted to say something. My father was in the hospital with a blood bleed. Hallelujah. I don't know. It was a year ago or a little over a year ago. Hallelujah. We didn't know what was going on. And he was in his room and he said, guess who came to visit me? We're a smaller church. We're not a huge church. What? But guess who came to see me? Dr. Darnell Thomas. Oh, yeah. He didn't just come and say, hi, how you doing? Bye-bye. He sat and had a conversation with my father. And I thank God for that. Thank God for your pastor. Hallelujah. He's an awesome man of God, full of power. Oh, yes. And what do I say about this first lady? She's come to see about me too many times. Hallelujah. Come unexpected to a district meeting. She's come in many ways, but the main thing is I was speaking. I was having a district meeting women's night. And the speaker that I had got sick all of a sudden. Hallelujah. And I was on Zoom that Saturday before, and I said, Lord, should I speak? Or what should I do? He said, ask Sister Phyllis Thomas to come and teach for you. And I said, Lord, but she's busy. She's a busy, and it's a busy church. And he said, do it anyway. So I called her right away, and she got back to me in less than an hour and said she can come. Thank God for Mother Phyllis Thomas. Oh, yeah. And you're talking about a time we had. We had a good old time in the Lord. 
singing and praising God's name. But I do solicit your prayers because you have no idea what I've gone to the, to the, through today. But I know that he has a word for me. And if you be patient, God is going to bless me to deliver it. Time and preparation. One of my favorite family holidays is Thanksgiving. I enjoyed Thanksgiving when I was younger. Didn't cook, but my mom cooked everything. Thanksgiving wasn't just a normal, uh, I want to honor, actually, I'm sorry about that. I want to honor the people that came with me, the visitors. Thank God for my daughter. Thank God for Sister Gail. My sister's here. Sister Denise is here. First Lady Gooden's here. I believe a co-worker's here. Is that you? Lindora. And maybe some other people came. But pray for me. Yes, Lord. It was Thanksgiving. And I was the youngest of four in the family. We had a six-seater table. And the thing about the six-seater table was four of us. My sister, then my brother, my sister that's here, and myself. Ah, my mother would pair, prepare for Thanksgiving. And it wasn't just that morning she woke up and cooked. She prepared. She prepared a, in her mind first, thinking about what she needed to cook for the family that she loved. She began to think and prepare. And then maybe days before Thanksgiving, shop and get food. Hallelujah, she'd go to the store and buy things and get things ready for Thanksgiving. Hallelujah, and the night before, she didn't wake up in the morning and say, Happy Thanksgiving, but the night before, she'd be preparing food, marinating meats, good hearty meats, turkey and ham, roast, oh, all the good food and Cooking, hallelujah, dressing, cornbread dressing, yes, cornbread dressing. She didn't use Jiffy for it. Homemade cornbread dressing, yes, and we had plenty of cakes. She didn't call Betty Crocker. <laughs> she didn't open a box, but she made them from scratch. She made them from scratch and homemade ingredients. Took her time to do it. It didn't matter how long it took. She wanted a good meal. So she took her time and cooked the food and made it good. We as children were sitting in the living room, in the room, and the aromas would go through the house. Made us hungry. We wanted to eat right away. It wasn't dinner time, it wasn't almost done, but I felt like it was time to eat. Our mouth was watering, wanting the food that she was cooking, but she said, not yet. Ah, oh, ah, oh, and then finally it was time to eat dinner. We all sat at the table, and many times they don't do that nowadays. Families don't sit at the table no more. They don't have time. But we sat at the table and discussed things, messed with one another. And our mother would say, uh, we have to say our blessing. We don't bless our food no more. We, it's, it's not just the unsaved, it's the saved that don't bless their food anymore. Don't have time to bless the food. If we do, we say it quickly. Bless the food in Jesus' name. God is love. And then we begin to eat. And that's it. We go sometime in different rooms and eat, not taking time with one another. 
But anyway, she would pass down her recipes to her daughters. We all know how to cook homemade cakes from scratch, but we don't do it anymore. Oh, the ingredients has changed. The nutrition has changed. Oh, our bodies aren't as healthy because of the fact that we've changed the ingredients and we don't know what's in our food. Because we don't have time anymore. Time for preparation. Time to get ready. Time to do it for our families. Oh, we don't do it. The nutritional value of food is not what it used to be. But they say long as they have food in their stomach and they're not hungry, it's okay. But it's not okay. Hallelujah. Nutrition is needed for growth. Nutrition is needed for health. Nutrition is needed to keep away diseases. But we're finding that that has changed. Oh, we continued to eat together as the generations went on. We gathered at my sister's house and we would eat the next generation. And the next generation would ask, we, we eat, we all split the meals that we bring so our mother wouldn't have to cook at all. I had to take my time, I apologize. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. We, our generation of our children would come to the house. We'd eat. Then after we eat, we sit and discuss things. It seemed like an age group thing. We sit and discuss things, and I choose to sit with the young people. My children's age and my nephews, and we talk about different things, talk about the things of the church and things that we used to do. And all of a sudden, they get on the fact that, how was church when you was younger? <laughs> they used to take time and tarry for the Holy Ghost. They used to take time and they wasn't in a hurry to prepare for the Holy Ghost to come in. Oh, they wanted the Lord to come in and have your way. Yes, they did. So my nephew would say, what would happen? I said, we prayed so much as young people till we saw spirits and individual. I was talking to a young lady in, in church and I looked at her, and next thing I know, I saw several heads moving. The flesh jumped back and said, what in the world is that? But because I took the time outside before I came in, the spirit said, the devil is a liar. Oh, God, what's going on? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I was in another church service. It was a teenage girl. Hallelujah. She fell on the floor and began to move around like a snake. Began to move around as a snake. And the bar and I, my mind said, Lord, let me get out of here. But my body said no the devil is a liar oh no I've taken time to seek the face of God and the devil is a liar and I put up my spiritual dukes and said let me at him God has not given us the spirit of fear but a power and of love and of a sound mind we begin to pray and the spirits begin to leave. And then she sat there, and please excuse me for leaning. She sat there and I said, Lord, what's going on? He said, there's one more in her. It's playing possum. Got quiet and played possum. 
we still began to pray and the demon was removed from her. And the Lord set her free. I remember the days, hallelujah, when we'd have shed-ins. And seek the face of God all night. I know now we have shed-ins, we bring pillows and blankets. We camp out in the house of God. We lay out and sleep and snore. Oh, but no, when I was in church, we prayed and sang all night long. Ah, oh, we waited before the Lord. We had time to feast at the table of God. Oh, he gave us what we need, joy, peace, and the Holy Ghost. I remember seeing limbs grow out back then. Because we sought the face of God like never before. Limbs grew out. I remember I was in church when I was a child. A lady fell out, had a seizure. And she stopped breathing, couldn't breathe. Stopped breathing and died in church. That was when I was young, when we was fasting and praying and spent time before the Lord. We weren't in a hurry, but we called on the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, we began to pray. The saints began to pray, and she still wasn't breathing. She died in the house of God, but they can't do that right now. We didn't call on 911. Because we knew God would bring her back to life. Yes, Lord, I was a young kid. Hallelujah, and that happened. Hallelujah. If we did it now, we better call 911 and continue to pray. It's a different time now because we're not doing what we need to do before God. Help us, Jesus, to do better. Help us to seek you like never before. Help us to call on your name. Not to be in a hurry. Any way you bless me, Lord, I'll be satisfied. Any way you bless me, Lord, I'll be satisfied. Oh, God, we give you praise and glory. And the lady was there dead in the church. One of the sisters said, and I'm going to call her Sandy, but she had another name. She said, Sandy, come back. And then she said it again, Sandy, come back. Third time she said, Sandy, come back. And the Lord brought her back and raised her up. Oh, yes, he did. Come back. Because they took time and prepared the meal. Sat before the face of God. Oh, Lord, what can I do? Move by your spirit, God. In the name of Jesus, feed me until I want no more. Yes, they called on the name of Jesus. Prepare me for your service, Lord. Use me, Lord. Word my lips of clay. Give me how to say it. In the name of Jesus. Bless your people, God. But things have changed. The foods have changed. The nutrition has changed. Instead of it bringing health to us, some of the foods that's out there bring us sickness, high blood pressure, cancers, just because we're in a hurry to grow the food, to feed the animals. We want it now. But sometimes it takes time and waiting to get the good food. Yes, it is. I thought about the glory. Hallelujah. The Philistines took the Ark of the Covenant. They took it and they had it for 20 years. Yes, they did. And, but they kept having service without the presence of God. They went through rituals just because 
and there was no presence in the house, no anointing in the house. It was there in Philistine for nearly 20 years. So that means they had prayer and there was no presence of God in the place. They had testimony service and there was no presence in the place. Oh God, the preacher preached and there was no presence in the place. Hallelujah. Then David said, we want the presence of God back. And because it was there gone so long, they didn't know how to bring it back. Had no idea. So they wanted to do it the modern way. I see that in the house of the Lord sometimes. They want to do it the modern way. But there's a way to praise and magnify the Lord. There's a way to lift him up. They didn't know how. So they did the ox cart. Carrying the glory. We know what happened. <laughs> Someone died in the process. In their goodwill of doing things. The ark was supposed to be carried on the shoulders of the Levites. Yes, they needed to take time. Hallelujah to glorify the Lord and do it like he say do it. Yes, there was a problem and someone died. Yes, Lord. Then he, David went back and said, how can we bring the glory back to the house of God? How can we bring it back? They had to go back to the scriptures because the church had changed so much. Oh, changed so much they didn't know how to bring the glory of God, but they were still having church. Oh, as in many houses of God across the country, we're just having church and there's no presence in the place. No glory in the house. But we're still doing it, clapping our hands. Oh, no glory in the house. But we're not, we're not praising him like we used to. We think it's okay to do it like we want to do it. But it's God's way or no way. Hallelujah. Same. And, and I've thought about the word. Hallelujah. Pray for me, people of God thought about the word of God and I thought about the word thirsty. We were hungry and we were thirsty because of the good food that was being prepared in the kitchen. The good food, the wholesome food, the organic food that brought health and strength to our body. Many people, as I said, was passing away because, hallelujah, the food is not nutrition now. The mothers don't have time to cook anymore. They're going to the fast food places and we don't know what's in that food. Hallelujah, we're going to the various places and, 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 and we're doing uh, microwave food and frozen food. And we don't even want to do that. We do DoorDash. <sighs> we don't know what's in that food. But we just want to be filled. It may not be nourishing at all. Hallelujah. Spiritual sickness sometimes we have in the place because we're eating the wrong foods. That have not been prepared properly. Hallelujah. Not taking the time to praise and magnify the Lord. Not taking the time to lift up the name of Jesus in his proper place. Preparing the time. There's a place in our hearts that God has just for him. Hallelujah. And we need to fill it with God. Yes, we do. The word came to me as spiritual thirsty. Some, some of us are spiritually thirsty, but we won't get nothing to drink because we're distracted. Because of distractions of life. Because of distractions around us. Because of the noise around us. Oh, we won't do it. 
Then it becomes spiritual dehydration. We don't even realize we're thirsty anymore, but sometime in the spirit we're dizzy. We don't know which direction to go in the name of Jesus. We don't know the voice of the Lord anymore. Help us, Jesus. Lightheaded and feeling faint in the spirit, but we don't realize it. We're spiritually hungry. Don't even realize it. Stomach, we go so far, we're starving. Oh, we're starving. And we look in the mirror and we see fat. We think we're big as a house, but we're starving. Oh, we're weak and we're starving. Yes. The Lord spoke to me and said, some of the saints are spiritual anorexic. Anorexics, what's that mean? You're skin and bones, but you look in the mirror and you see yourself healthy. And you don't even realize it, but you're dying. Because of our food intake, help us, God. Eating at different tables, that's not healthy. We don't know how they prepared the food at different tables. We don't know the pesticides that's harming our bodies, that's causing spiritual cancers, spiritual high blood pressure, spiritual weaknesses. And we wonder why there's a backsitting situation in the house of God. Because you're eating at the wrong table. Not being nourished and you're not growing, but you look in the mirror, you don't see it. You feel like you're healthy. Oh, God, help us, Jesus. But I thought about it way before creation. Our God had a plan A, and we're still in plan A. They thought because the serpent deceived Eve and Eve spoke to her husband and he ate of the apple and was kicked out of the garden that we now in plan B but the whole time God knew what was going to happen before he created the heavens and earth we are in plan A it was his desire to redeem us Oh, yes, he wanted to redeem us. Yes, he did. Lord, we thank you. So we thank the Lord. And I, 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 he said, prepare me a body. And I'm jumping all over the place. God, help me. God, help me, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. So he prepared for his people. Hallelujah. He prepared for his people. Yes, through 40 and two generations, he made preparation and it took time. Oh, yes, he took the time to bring us all to him, not just one generation or just one people he took the time and years and then here I am and it says father Abraham had many sons and many sons had father Abraham I'm one of them if it was just the Jews I wouldn't have made it but God wanted all us, us to be a part of his family not just the Jews, but everyone. Yes, he did. Luke 14 and 16. It said a certain man prepared. He prepared a banquet. God help me, Jesus. He prepared a banquet. And it took time to prepare that banquet. Sent out the invitations. Spared no expenses. 
We don't know how long he prepared. The Bible says he prepared. He told his friends and invited them and said, come. Hallelujah. When the banquet was done, he invited those friends. And those friends had excuses. They had excuses after excuse after excuse why they wasn't going to come. One had to buy land. One had yoke of oxen, but they knew advance that they wanted to, he wanted to test it. One got married, but he knew that his friend was having a banquet. Oh, but he was discouraged and he said, he told his servant, go and invite the people in the highways and the hedges because I have food prepared for the people. I have food prepared for the people. Yes, expensive food, hearty food, nutritional food. And that's what our God is saying. I have food prepared for the people. But the people that know will not come. So I said, go out to the highways and hedges and compel them to come. Yes, there's so much at the table. There's joy at the table if you need it. There's peace at the table if you need it. There's deliverance at the table if you need it. If you're hungry, God will feed you. Come over here, the table spread. And the feast of the Lord is going on. If you need your joy back, it's at the table. If you need your peace back, it's at the table. Whatever you need, he'll give it to you. He'll supply it for you. It's more than enough. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Thank God for the revival. There's peace in the revival. Joy in the revival. Love in the revival. Gifts in the revival. Whatever you need, God's got it. He has everything we need. Hallelujah. It wasn't a plan B. It was a plan A. Hallelujah. Whatever you need from God, he's able to give it. Oh, whatever you need from God. Hallelujah. The spiritual death that comes sometime in the house of God is because of the wrong food. We haven't taken the time to prepare. Hallelujah. To prepare. Hallelujah. To prepare. If anything, not getting things that are on sale, not calling McDonald's or DoorDash in the spirit because you're in a hurry. Sometimes it takes time. Hallelujah. Sometimes it takes time. Laying before the Lord, Lord, what you need? What you need me to do? Lord, what you need me to do? Help me, God. Help me, God. Help me, Lord. Restore the gifts, God. Restore the anointing, God. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And we give you praise and glory. So those of you that make time for the Lord, because he's able to do it for us all. His anointing is in the building. His anointing is in the building. Ah, come on, let's give him a praise. Hallelujah. 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 We're in a good place where there's good food here, where they take the time for you. 
I came to a prayer meeting one morning and they have the, I think the first 30 minutes for your own self, you pray. And then they have the last 30 minutes of corporate prayer. I walked in and there was a lady here and another one of the prayer warriors praying with her. It reminded me of the church of old. They had time to pray. See the lady delivered and make whole. She cried out to God and then the first lady came in. She didn't go on her own way and said, let her go ahead and pray. She took the time and prayed. We tarried and prayed with the woman. I was from a distance, but they prayed. Tell the lady prayed through. And then at the end of the prayer, she, the first lady took time to talk to her. She might have been busy, but she had time to love on her. To bring her nutrition, to bring her through. Yes, we have to make time for the Lord. Fast food or fast word or fast prayers is not working on today. We want to cast out devils. We better stay on our knees. We better make time for the Lord. Call on his name and say, Lord, I need you. Lord, I need you. Fill me again. Fill me again. Restore the gifts, God. In the name of Jesus. Do it again, God. Hallelujah. That's for the saved and the unsaved. Hallelujah. Use me again. Baptize me in the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. I remember how I was filled with the Holy Ghost. Y'all know, save me, Jesus, save me, Jesus, save me, Jesus. Fill me, Jesus, fill me, Jesus. I love tarrying for the Lord. They got uh, time when and they stopped that. They didn't have time for that. And I was telling, I was thinking to myself, I have a banking account from my, my dad. I, send, I used to send them regular money to put in the bank. They tell you nowadays that when you save, the Holy Ghost is already there. I sent my money to my dad and he put the money in the bank. And I, and I, I never asked to see what was in the bank. The evidence that the money was in the bank. The evidence that I had those thousands of dollars in the bank. But I was told it was there. My dad said, you got, you got to see the receipt, Vita. You got to know that the money is there. I know I deposited, but you want to see the evidence that it's there. Hallelujah. We don't tear it till the evidence of speaking in tongues anymore. Because they say it's already there. But I don't want to have any money anywhere. That sometime I don't see what my balance is. Yes, Lord. I want the tongues, God. I want to be filled with the Holy Ghost. With the Bible evidence of speaking in tongues. Yes, give me a receipt ever so often. Show me a sign sometime that I'm filled with the Holy Ghost. And the mighty burning fire. So whatever it takes. Oh God. I'll do it for you Lord. Show me some sign. So by the time my daughter came along. They wasn't seeking the Holy Ghost like I was. She was on her way to college. And I said she needs the Bible evidence of speaking in tongues. God, feel her like you filled me. I don't care. Roll her on the floor, whatever you want her to. But she's going away to college miles and miles away. She needs that keeping power, and we need the evidence. Oh, God, fill her with the Holy Ghost. She went to a church here in Sacramento, California. Hallelujah, tarrying for the Holy Ghost. 
Feel me, Jesus. Feel me, Jesus. Feel me, Jesus. Next thing you know, she was on the floor. Feel me, Jesus. Feel me, Jesus. She was under the bench. Feed me, Lord. I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty. I need some food. Hallelujah. Began to speak in tongues. And like the older days, they put the mic to her mouth. And the Holy Ghost and the words of the unknown language came forth. Give me that old time religion. The new stuff sometimes don't work right. It's not giving good nutrition for the soul. Give me that old time religion so I can pray through in the name of Jesus. That if I see a demon on somebody, I can cast the devil out. Say the Lord rebuke you. The power of God is against you. You got to go. Takes time and preparation. But whatever we need, people of God, whatever we need, is here tonight. He's here to save. He's here to heal. He's here to deliver. He's here to restore. Oh, I remember when I first got saved. How about you? Is there anything you used to do that you don't do anymore? Is there anything that you used to say that you don't say anymore? Couldn't wait to get to church. If it was revival, you didn't just come one night. You went every night. Because I want some more from the table of the Lord. I want to be fed. I want more, God. More of you, God. More of you, God. More of you, God. Your anointing, Lord. Hallelujah. I got to have more. Feed me till I want no more. Hallelujah. If there's anybody in the house that realize I need more. Don't have to be unsaved. But Lord, there's areas in my life that's dormant. I've been eating at the wrong table. They haven't been teaching me the right things. They haven't been telling me the right things, God. Hallelujah, spiritually I'm weak. Fear spiritually I'm sick. God help me. I need your spirit, God. I need your anointing, God. I need you to restore me, God. I need your strength, God. Power from on high. Hallelujah. If you need prayer, come. I need to be restored. I need to be set free. I need to be made whole. Do it, God. In the name of Jesus. Feel me again, God. Stir up the gifts, God. In the name of Jesus. 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 Feel God. Deliver God. Make whole.
the church say yes, 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 yes. Church say yes, 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 yes. Open your mouth and say yes, Lord. Open your mouth and say yes, Lord. Open your mouth and say yes, Lord. Open your mouth and say yes. the church say yes, 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 let the church say yes, 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 yes. Yes, to your will. 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 Yes,
Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Whatever your will is, yes, Lord. Whatever way you want to do it, yes, Lord. However you want to fix it, yes, Lord. However you want to heal, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. To your way and to your will. Thank you, Jesus. Come on and give God a hallelujah praise. A for real hallelujah praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, uh, woo. Thank you Jesus. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Uh, glory. Thank you, Jesus. Whatever you need is in the house. All you need to give him is a yes, Lord. It takes time to prepare. Lord have mercy. We got to give God some time so he can prepare us for our future. Oh my God. But we got to seek him. Hallelujah. Have a thirsty and a hungry, hungry soul for him and his, his will for our life. Thank you. District Missionary Levita Jones. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. And what's so important is God hasn't changed. Uh-oh. He's a God that changed not. So what do we have to do? We have to look within ourselves and say, God, change me. Oh, you're the robo shop. Change my mindset. Change my heart. Change my soul. Change my spirit. Change my response. Change my action. Lord, change me. Hey, hey, hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Time and preparation. Thank you. I don't know about you, but I was taking notes. We got to become spiritually thirsty and hungry for the will of God to be done in our lives. Come on and give the Lord a hand of praise for our own district missionary, Lapita Jones. She, she is not medically doing as well as she should, but she pushed through that. She pushed through that. Lord have mercy. And we thank God we're going to continue to pray for her because I know that God is not through with her yet. If he tell her to carry on, that means she got to carry on. And she got to be well and carrying on. Amen. So we're going to play for her complete healing in her body. Amen. Well, before I give it into the hands of the pastor, I want to tell you on tomorrow night. Somebody say tomorrow night. Uh -huh. Tomorrow night, our own national evangelist, Lisa Wynn Johnson, all the way from Vallejo, California. Old Path Cathedral Church of God in Christ will be here. Amen. We want to come back prayerful. If you can meet us here at 6 a.m. prayer in the morning, that'll be good too. Well, amen. And keep it real hot up in here, up in here. Amen. We want to give it up for our leader, Dr. Darnell Thomas. Come on, come on, come on. Give it up, give it up. And he will have closing remarks and send us home. God bless you. God bless you. I will not belabor the time, but I have enjoyed the spirit of the Lord. We praise God for our Superintendent Mason being with us on tonight. St. Timothy Church. Uh, I want to say um, to Evangelist Levita Jones, you have done an outstanding job. Outstanding job. Me as a pastor, I always sit as a student, I don't care who's bringing the word because there's always something I know that I can learn. I took notes on tonight and uh, some of this they will be hearing again. 
Amen. And certainly we praise God. There was a commercial years ago and they advertised Wonder Bread. And they sold it on the assumption that they said it'll help you grow 12 ways. But I know another Wonder Bread. I'm going to leave that. I'm going to leave it alone. No, 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 no. Because all of us don't have the same ailment. And I found out that one, the bread, will heal you wherever state you in. And I thank God. And I, I, I did a skull search and I, I, I walked down memory lane years ago. My mother used to uh, uh, prepare two days ahead for Thanksgiving. We would have German chocolate, we have coconut, we would have pound cake, we have lemon cake, we have uh, uh, we have a potato pie, we have peach pie, we have all of those pies and it took preparation and then she would cook uh, yeah, from scratch uh -huh. uh, the cornbread dressing uh -huh, with the turkey and the ham and then sometimes they would have uh, ham hocks and then they would have uh, meatloaf and then, you know, all of the shrimp. But it took time. Well, at that particular time, y'all, I wasn't saved. But I always knew the routine every year. Two, three o'clock in the morning, at that particular time, no stores and no restaurants was open. But me and some of my partners were still rolling through the hood. Uh, yeah. And uh, we would get the hungry. Then they call it the munchies. And I knew my mother was cooking. I talked about my mother's cooking to the point to where all of them wanted to go by the house. Well, we opened the door. Now, it's not Thanksgiving. It was just in preparation. But she was still having things to put together, but some of it was already done. And when we sit down, we dine sufficiently. We had grease all down our elbows. And when we left there, we all, they were always talking about how good the food is. So it is when Jesus feeds you bread from heaven. We ought to leave here telling everybody about how good the food. Come on and give God a hand of praise in this place. God bless you. God bless you. And so they will always look forward and coming back. And uh, I, 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 well, it was so good. I was bragging on it. They always wanted to come back. And I found out something, Mother Mason, that they talk about things that get in the church. And I found out, I don't care what gets in the church. If we get this stove hot enough, it'll cook whatever get in it. Somebody gonna catch, somebody gonna catch that. We get this stove hot enough, it'll cook whatever get in it. Because I have seen people when they hit the door, they spin like a top. Because the spirit of the Lord was just that heavy in the church. I don't know about you, church still works. God still delivers. God still sets free. God still heals. And he's, I can't, and let me quit it. God bless you. So I want you to understand tonight, I enjoyed you immensely, immensely. Uh, Dad Mason, would you come have words? You good? All right. Well, see, he's my senior, so I have to do what he say. I recognize.